Today's video, I'm going to show you my 12 favorite cycling tools. These aren't essential tools. These are my 12 favorite. I love working on my bike. I love tools in general, and I just love working with my hands and building stuff. So number one, we're going to start off with Allen keys because I think those are probably one of the most important staple tool that every bike mechanic has to have. I'm going to show you three, four different options here. If you were only to buy one set of Allen keys, these are the best. They're the Weera Hex. And you can see here, I left a few of them out because I have them up on my wall, but it comes in this great case, you can see. But what makes this so good, it, one, number one, they're a great size. So this would be the one that you use for your pedals and it's not too big, but it's long enough that you can get enough torque on it to get the pedal off or work on the bottom bracket or whatever. But also it has a ball end in case you need to get in on an angle. But because they're round, they're easier to, to, to work with and they're the perfect size in my opinion. So if you're looking for one set, definitely check out this Weera brand. I've tried all different kinds and these are definitely when I travel, this is the set that I bring with me. The next set are the T1, the T handle. These are great, they're expensive. These are another great option. You can hang them on your wall. Really well made by Park Tool. If you're interested, check those out. I actually saw Peter Sagan's mechanic. There's this awesome video, I'm gonna link it in the description, showing building up one of his bikes. And I didn't see him using Allen keys. I saw him using a little ratchet and then he would have interchangeable heads. And what's great is this ratchet rotates and you can see here, that's how you can change the front, like which way it goes. But this ratchet rotates so you can use it as a screwdriver or if you need to get leverage on it, you can use it like that. And then they have all these interchangeable heads. So you can put in, you know, you put in the, the, the two and a half, you put in the three, and this is great. And what else is great is you can, these bits are inexpensive. You can get like a set for like 12 bucks, and then you can also get a torque set as well. Same idea, but a little bit better quality, because this, this thing was only like 20 bucks, and that set of bits was only like 12 bucks or something on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. This is a bit more expensive option, Weera. Same thing, you can turn it into a screwdriver. You can go at uh, 45 and then at 90. This is a much higher quality option. You could see it's a quarter socket. Just goes in like that. Comes with the different sizes. So now that we got the Allen keys out of the way, the next important tool that I use is a really good pair of scissors. These are Kai scissors. And this, this set's a little big. I probably should have got a size smaller. The normal short like park tool scissors that are only this long, I've never had luck with them. I bought these, these are Japanese made. I'll link them in the, in the description. But guys, hammer won't do it any justice. But like you need to cut bar tape or any type of tape like that. You need to cut anything with a pair of these. Guys, like I know that the, 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 the camera's not gonna do it any justice, but like, the way this cuts the bar tape or electrical tape or whatever you're working on, incredible. I love these scissors. I'll put a link in the description. They're spelt uh, Kai. And here I'll show you the logo right there. Next is my chain tool. I use this regularly, regularly to check the chain. Nothing too special here. I really like the way this works. It, it says right on there when you need to replace the chain. I find this one really easy to use. Next one, torque wrenches. I love this one by Bontrager. I use this to do the stem and the headset and all that stuff. And then I have this pro one that I really like as well. But guys, I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna tell you about a problem I ran into a torque wrench. Let me show you. I bought this inexpensive one on Amazon and I used this for bottom brackets, tightening the crank and I dropped it. And I didn't know that it was out of torque but it was, and I was completely over torquing the bottom bracket, the, the, the crank, and then I realized one day, this is on way too tight. So I went and I bought another one, and, I, and then I realized that that thing was out of whack. So my point is, if you have a torque wrench and you use it regularly, make sure you really baby this thing. Don't ever over tighten it. As soon as you hear that click, back off, and only use this for torquing bolts to that spec. 
really take care of your torque wrench because it's easy to knock this thing out of torque way easier than I thought it was and also trust yourself if, if you feel like it's out of torque or you're putting too much into it or too little get another torque wrench to double check it because you don't want to end up like me where you're just completely knocking things out of torque because your wrench wasn't where it was supposed to be all right moving on next one Leatherman I think every man should own a Leatherman that's just me though I love my Leatherman guys. I know this isn't a cycling specific tool, but I keep this thing in my pocket at all times. You got needle nose pliers, you got a knife, you got uh, Phillips and flathead, you got scissors, you got a saw. This thing's awesome, in my pocket at all times. Get yourself a Leatherman guys. Next one up on the list is a spacer, a disc spacer. Love this thing, they're on Amazon, super cheap. All this stuff will be linked in the description. Anytime I have problems centering my disc brakes, I use this guy, love it. Easy to use, you slide it in, hold the brake tight, tighten off the caliper bolts, you're good to go. This thing has never failed me. If you have disc brakes, buy yourself one of these, only a couple bucks. Moving on, tire lever. Bontrager tire lever. This is the best one I've used and it's because the tip is rounded on all sides and it makes it really easy to slide the tire lever up and down the rim to get the tire on and off. These are only a couple bucks, grab two of them. Awesome tool. Next one, feedback. To hold the chain to clean it and you can change this piece out between the through axle piece, the quick release for both types of axles. Love this thing, put my chain through it, makes it way easier to clean the chain and not have a bang on the chain stay. Definitely get yourself one of these, it's like 50 bucks. Next one, chain breaker. I got the Park 201. If uh, I wanted to spend more money on one of these, I would go with the Abbey chain breaker. I'll post a link in the description, I'll put a picture of, up on it now. But guys, I was using this shitty little chain breaker for years. And every time I'm trying to break the chain, I'm cranking on it because it doesn't have a long handle. Because it's got such a long handle, you can get a grip on it, and this too makes it way easier to get it, to break the chain. Get a quality chain breaker so you're not messing with it every time you want to break a chain. This thing's great. If you want to spend some extra money and get a really high quality tool, go with an Abbey chain breaker. Those are awesome. I've never used one personally. I'd love to get my hands on one one day, but I don't think I can spend 150 bucks on a chain breaker. Maybe one day we'll see. All right, we're gonna get a two for one here for the rim brake guys and the disc brake guys. Get yourself a nice, you got it. If you're gonna, if you got cables on your bike, you gotta get a good pair of cable cutters. And I tried to get these Klein ones because I thought the Klein ones would be better. But the, these do not cut bike cables the same way this Park 201 does. If you're cutting cables, you got a rim brake, definitely get yourself one of these because you're gonna need to cut. You need to have a clean cut on those cables or otherwise the cables won't run properly. Next one, guys, this thing, I found it on Amazon and, I, and again, it's from the Peter Sagan mechanic. I saw him using one of these. And guys, if you cut your own cables, you, if you cut your own hoses, you know it's a pain in the ass. It comes with those two yellow blocks. You're supposed to hold them with pliers and cut it with a knife. Forget it. Guys, this thing works so good. Let me show you. The one I bought first was this SRAM one, but I used it like two or three times. It kept getting jammed. I literally feel like throwing this thing out. It's got like some blade in there that comes down, right? Now watch it how, how watch how good this works. Boom. Cuts it like that. Best tool for cutting hoses I've ever used and it all has to do with just how that lever works. And what's great is it has two bolts there at the top and it's just a blade in there, a little exacto blade, and you can actually loosen it and keep moving the blade down to get the sharp po point or you can just pull it out and replace the blade. Works awesome. Same thing with this this part to uh, put the barb in the hose works great. Highly recommend this tool, got it on eBay. I think it's only like 30 bucks or something like that. Love that tool. Next one, the center lock. What's great about this Park 201 is it'll fit on right over the head of the quick release. 
Love this tool. I think it's like 50 bucks or something. And then his little brother, the pliers chain whip. I had the chain whip where it was just a bar and then it had a chain hanging off of it. Uh, it mine fell apart. I really like this one a lot better. It's up to you. Both work well. Uh, I've been using this one recently and I definitely like this one more. I'm gonna give you two bonus tools that I absolutely love. Number one, is uh, this quick release chain tool. If you got a quick release on your bike, you have to have one of these tools because the chain you're gonna be the chain is gonna be a nightmare to deal with. This is like basically you can only use this tool. If you start trying to use a pair of needle nose pliers, it'll kill you. Get one of these if you have a quick release chain. Bonus tool number one, bonus tool number two, and guys, I've used this thing every time I've ever built a bike, I've used this. And what it is, is the Park Tool Fish Set. And you got, it comes with this magnet and I got a piece of tape around it so it doesn't scratch the frame of the bike. But it has these long wires in it and I don't wanna unfold them, but basically on one end of the wire, it that connects to a Shimano wire. Let me show you. And it just, plugs in like that. And so at the other end of this long wire, you have this big magnet. And this magnet is powerful enough to connect and you just hold this along the side of the frame and you pull the magnet and then your wire is connected on that end. And then they have four, they have four other hoses, they have four other wires. This one's like a little drill tip that you can twist into the end of a hose. This is like a universal, like Chinese finger trap kind of thing where you can uh, like just a rubber piece that you kind of like stick in and then as you pull it, it gets tighter. And then the, the last one is like a universal one with nothing on it. You can attach something to it. Huge giveaway going on right now, guys. Jabra Elite 75T, Samsung Buds Plus, and I got the Samsung Buds Live down there. All three, giving them away right now. Just click, click on the link in the description. Easy to enter, just enter your info and you can win. So if you like the video guys, please hit the subscribe button. Helps me out huge if you like the video. Please like it, please comment. I wanna hear what your favorite tools are, what should have been on the list, what shouldn't have been on the list. I'll see you soon, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.